Welcome to the Structure Studio's online video series. This video will explain importing AutoCAD files. In Stage 1, Project Information, click Import AutoCAD in the panel to select the DWG or DXF file and click Open. Once the AutoCAD file is imported, the 2D viewport displays a split screen. The 2D grid is the top half of the screen and the contents of the AutoCAD file are displayed in the bottom half. The plus signs are reference points. When lines are imported, they'll always appear relative to the reference point. The toolbar divides the screen. The first tool is Pan. Hold down the left mouse button to pan the AutoCAD view. Zoom in and out of the AutoCAD file with the Zoom tool. Hold down the left mouse button to zoom into a specific area on the file. Or with the mouse wheel, zoom out to see the whole view. Click Auto Zoom to see the entire project. Or select a specific shape and click Auto Zoom to focus on that shape. Click off the shape and press Auto Zoom again to see the entire project. Press the plus icon to hide the purple reference points as needed. The lock icon shows the two screens are linked together. The two views move and scale at the same time. To move the views independently, Press the lock icon to unlock the views. The page icon will collapse the AutoCAD view and display the file as a background image. This allows the AutoCAD file to be used as a guide to trace lines. Press the page icon at the top of the screen to remove the background image and return to the AutoCAD view. The next option is Import. Before importing the first line, it's important to confirm the DWG units. Open the original AutoCAD file or ask the creator for the AutoCAD scale. Set the scale with the Scale drop-down. Let's head to Stage 2 House to import the house into the project. Select the house in the AutoCAD view and click Import. We immediately see the house in the 2D view. Because we're in the house stage, the software created a house. The house shape in the AutoCAD view is now blue. Lines change color when imported into the project. In the panel, under AutoCAD Options, click the Color button to the right of the checkbox to set the color of the imported objects. Let's take a look at the house in 3D by clicking the 2D 3D button at the top of the screen. The house looks great. Customize the house to match your client's home with windows, doors, and shutters. Let's go back to 2D to import the next shape from the AutoCAD file. Head to Stage 5, Pools, to import the pool. Select the pool in the AutoCAD view. Once selected, the pool is a dotted line. Click Import. The pool is now in the 2D view. Next, we'll import hardscapes. Head to Stage 7, Hardscapes. We can import multiple shapes at once. To make it easier to select only the hardscape shapes, we'll hide the other AutoCAD layers. In the panel, highlighted layers are visible in the AutoCAD view. Click All Off to hide all layers. Then click Deck to activate the deck layer. Now only deck shapes are visible. Marquee select all the shapes and click Import. Once the shapes are imported, click All On to unhide all AutoCAD layers. Let's take a look at our progress in 3D by clicking the 2D 3D button at the top of the screen. AutoCAD shapes will not remember the height set in the original file. Once the shapes are imported, we'll set our values. Double click each shape to customize as needed. Let's go back to 2D to import the planner. Head to Stage 9, Planters. When we import the planner, we notice the planner shape is red in the 2D view. Red tells us that we have an incomplete shape and it will not appear in 3D. We can complete the shape by selecting the lines of the planner and welding the line segments together. With all of the lines selected, press Group in the panel. Now the planner is a complete shape. Use these techniques to import the rest of the AutoCAD file and complete the project. Press the Minimize button to hide the AutoCAD view for now or to access the file later. 
or press the red X to close the AutoCAD file and remove it from the design. This completes instruction on AutoCAD import. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit structurestudios.com/help.